What's up, people? Welcome back to my brand new Windows 10, my upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Well, what can I say about Windows 10 that hasn't been said already all over the internet? Let me just start with this before we take a quick look at the brand new Windows 10. I predicted earlier this year that Windows 10 will rock. And from many, many reviews I have read so far, the consensus is Windows 10 rocks. Is there an echo in here? Oh no, it's something I've said before. Imagine that. People, let me explain to you when it comes to, let me explain something when it comes to mom and pop of the family and operating systems. I'm a big fan of click and go, as are, I'm sure, many, many users. People are like simple. Busy lives, too many things to absorb, learn. Windows 8 was a whole new learning experience without the start menu. With Windows 8, there was nothing technically wrong with Windows 8. You know, for example, for gaming, it was and is terrific. But without that comfort zone, what I call the magic button or the start menu, which is back, thank God, without that in Windows 8, Windows 8 well, was doomed to fail. Uh, and customers shied away from it. Companies like Microsoft eventually listened. They didn't listen to me when I said, listen, Microsoft, you need to bring back the start menu. But no. Anyway, a few years later, it's back. Eventually, they do listen. And personally, I think this looks better than Windows 8. And I'm grateful that at least they listened to most consumers who were not happy with Windows 8 to bring this back as a free upgrade to Windows 8. So what about the start menu? I think this is a good compromise between the classic here to the left and the new live tiles. Now one thing about this, you can probably love it or hate it. I think something like this uh, looks better, maybe functions better on a large widescreen TV. What I have here, I think this is a 39 inch or 40 inch. It looks terrific by the way. The live tiles, if for some reason you don't like this and just love the classic style here to the left, for example, let's say Windows Media Player, which is pinned to start. Well, I have it here at the bottom of the taskbar, so I don't, don't need it here. Right click, unpin from start, and it's that easy. You can resize these and move these around, or for some reason, all you want are, uh, is the classic menu to the left and don't want these at all. You can remove all of these and just stick with what you have to the left. Once again, I think this is a pretty uh, smart, slick compromise between the old and the new. So this is what Windows 8 should have been. All right, let's take a quick look at the default desktop here. Now, some of these apps do not come by default. Avast, the free antivirus, definitely check it out. CCleaner, you've heard before, of course, Firefox, VLC Media Player, and a terrific free disk defragmenter OsLogic. So check those out. The default wallpaper, I think, looks terrific. It's really slick. There was, there was a video on this think on YouTube and how they created this. Anyway, it looks good, check it out. So right click as you would in the previous version of Windows. Let's go to display settings. You can change the size of text and apps, 100% is recommended or bigger. I will say this, let me go to advanced display settings. There is one little minor, I won't say it's a glitch, I think it's due to my outdated graphics card, but my maximum resolution is here, 1920 by 1080. It looks terrific, don't get me wrong, but I can't quite fill the screen. Now, you won't be able to see this in this recording, but if you look at my mouse, if I go all the way to the top here, in fact, all the way around, there are black bars about a quarter inch or so extending from the main screen. I haven't been able to figure out, or maybe it's not even capable, to fill out the screen. Uh, my graphics card is probably not capable. It's an older card. Um, it, it's compatible with Windows 10, evidently, but I can't quite fill out the screen. It's something that has to do with scaling, I believe. But other than that, it looks terrific. All right, moving along, the bottom taskbar, the classic uh, super bar, I guess that's what it's called. Time and date, notifications, and let's see, what do we have here? Virus protection, unwanted, unwanted software. Okay, how satisfied were you with the experience, uh, I guess, with Windows 10? I will answer that later. I am so far very, very satisfied. And some options here at the bottom, including tablet mode. Okay, volume control. Internet. Currently running functions, as you see here. All right, let's go to... Um, 
Let's go to Task Manager, go to Performance, and see how much RAM this is consuming. Uh, this has a total of 4 gigs of RAM, about 1.8 gigabytes. Not too bad running the screen recorder. Uh, this is only a dual core machine, but it runs zippier with Windows 10 than it did with Windows 7, so I'm quite, quite pleased with that. Okay, the settings, we looked at that before. Let's go, now these are already uh, default shortcuts pinned here to the taskbar. You can move these around as you see here. Let's take a look at the App Store real quick. I love the use of white space. Uh, the colors, the default fonts for me, at least on the on this big screen, very nice, very easy on the eyes. I usually wear contact lenses, sometimes my glasses. Uh, some free stuff here. Uh, let's see. By the way, Asphalt 8 Airborne, terrific free game. Highly, highly recommended. It. it looks and feels awesome. All right, so that's the App Store. All right, let's try Microsoft Edge, the new web browser. Again, with the use of white space, I like. I, um, I really haven't played with this too much, but it feels smoother and faster. Let's see, what can we do here? New tab, of course. Where do you want to go next? Okay, show my news feeds, some other settings here. History, downloads. Okay, so I have no problem with this. Again, this is brand new, the web browser called Microsoft Edge. For what I've seen briefly, it's it's perfectly acceptable. Close all the tabs. Sure, why not? All right, let's try Cortana. Hello, Cortana. How are you? Great, thanks. Now, it says here, ask me to tell you a story. Um, sure, Cortana, I'll bite. Hey Cortana, tell me a story. Once there was a beginning. Soon after, there was a middle. The end. I guess I fell for that trap, didn't I, Cortana? Let's see, ask me to tell you a scary story. Okay, fine. Hey Cortana, tell me a scary story. Dear Diary, found something in M's room. It's long and it breathes. Addendum. It does not taste like chicken. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay, anyway, I have, yes, I have been playing with Cortana. It does appear to work. Hello, Cortana. All right, I don't want to go to the web. Thank you very much. Anyway, yes, with your, when you ask her anything, it can give you an immediate answer, or maybe it may have to go to the web. I asked uh, something about Halo. It gave me the first answer, it gave me a clever answer. Then the second answer, it went to the web about the Halo game series. Anyway, Cortana, at least in my machine, uh, didn't really notice any bugs. Very impressed with this first generation of the voice assistant called Cortana. All right, I think I'll leave this quick review here uh, for now. I think I'll wrap it up here for now. I will have more about this in a series of Windows 10. Uh, for beginners, if you will. I think next we'll take a look at the uh, Windows.old or Windows old folder. That is what you probably have if you did an upgrade installation of Windows 10. You and probably many millions of others have that folder. And what do you do with that folder? Well, in the next video, I will show you how to do that. Later on, I'll show you how to uh, dual boot uh, Linux and Windows 10. Yes, you, I believe you can still dual boot uh, Windows 10 and various versions of Linux. Someone asked me about that, so we'll take a look at that and some other stuff. So overall, I predicted Windows 10 would rock. Uh, the consensus is on the internet, not everybody, but the early consensus is that Windows 10 rocks and overall so far, so far, I would have to totally agree. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Enjoy your technology, and please don't text and drive. Take care.